Today, I would like to make a coffee scoop. I have this piece of three quarter inch bar that was from the previous project, which was putting a strap onto this post vise. But I figure the rest of this, I don't need all of it, but I might as well make a coffee scoop with it. And I've only ever made one. And this was whenever I first started blacksmithing. Now here's my first coffee scoop. You can see the back's a little rough. Where I was hitting it, I was actually using the hardy hole to round this out. I didn't have a piece of wood. I should have used one. And it's just a very basic design. There's nothing to this. But today, I want to take it a little bit further. And I want to mark off somewhere around two inches. Then I want to slot punch the bar backwards. And then I want to round all this off and I want to run a twist so it'll just interlock as it's coming backwards and put a small little, maybe just a punch hole through here. Nothing crazy. And it doesn't have to have a very long handle. This one actually worked really well with that short little handle. It fits inside the, the coffee container very well. But we'll start from there and see how it works out. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to find my line that I put in there with my chisel which is at two inches. I'm gonna go down about half the thickness of the bar. Then I'm just gonna go ahead, chamfer that off a little bit. That will have us pretty well set up for the end of the spoon. Now I'm gonna take my slot punch and I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna open this up probably, I would say probably a punch and a half maybe. It's probably all the more material I'll need and then I'll open this up kind of like a bottle opener. Now I'm just gonna guess, say that I wanna be Roughly right around there. And I'll go a half again. And let's try to get this drove in. All right. Flip that over. Let's see if I can't knock that out. I need to get a new glove. This one here's seen better days. half of it. Let's see if I can't get the other half. Ah, I got a little dangly bit on it. I think I can get that off there though. I got a very good grip. Now I do. All right. Now, since I can't hit this top, I'm going to cool this down and I'm going to drive this backwards to try to get that rounded out a little bit, make that look a little bit better transition. And if I can't, then I'll just use a file and clean that up afterwards.
that's looking better. Off camera, I went ahead and forged this out the rest of the way, thinned this way down, and I rounded over the edges just to make it look nice. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get a hole punched right there, and then I'll start forging the spoon out. The reason I didn't go for the spoon first is whenever I get that real thin, and then I'm working on this, a bunch of heats, this ends up getting too much forge scale and it turns out kind of ugly looking, so I left this for last. Say that's good straighten it out and then I'm gonna run one more heat and straighten these that little hoop out so it doesn't need to be rounded off right now and then uh, start widening the spoon out okay now I just got to draw this out I got to find my right side it's right there This can get pretty time consuming. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll forge this out, get it rounded, and then we'll go ahead and start finishing once I get that worked out. All right, this is where I'm at with it now. Just quite a bit of work. And I've got real close to about two inches, which is where I wanna be. I'm gonna work on planishing this to get it a little bit smoother. And I would really like to fill out these corners down here. And then I'll go ahead and uh, shape this on the grinder. I have this flattened out the best I could. I was hoping to bring a little bit more material into the back to make this a little bit more round, but I'm going to leave it a little bit balloon shaped, which would be fine. It doesn't really matter. But I went ahead and ground the profile off camera. And now all I have to do is start dishing this out. And I have a couple dishing tools that I've made, but I'm going to go ahead and just use a block of wood to dish this out. Now my plan is, is to twist these together, kind of like a braid almost. And I'm gonna try it with two punches. I 
it's not looking too bad. I think I'm going to go all the way tight and see what that looks like. May look a little bit better. Mm, I don't know if I really like that. Might have to do a redo on that one. Try to back it up a little bit, maybe. This may end disastrously. Or maybe if I could just get it to flatten down like that. I think it's time for a block of wood. it just a little bit. Maybe I can knock that down. There, that's looking better. Get this smash down. Tweak it a little bit, and I think it's about ready to cut off. got it all cleaned up. This is what I finally came out with. I ground in a little, or I filed in a little bit right there just to give that an offset, make it look a little bit better. I finished it with beeswax. I try to do that on anything that's kind of food grade, I guess, just to keep something halfway decent on it. Now that did not go the way I planned it. I was hoping for a little bit wider down here at the bottom, so this is more of a round, almost ladle looking. It kind of came out like a spoon because of the balloon shape. And you've seen the twist. That was pretty horrible to try to get that twisted around. It ended up working out in the end, but barely. But overall, I'm happy with it. Maybe I'll give this another shot someday. Thanks for watching. I'll cool off the end and get this opened up, hopefully. That did not work. <laughs> 